Ready? Give it a... Let's get to it. What's up, YouTube? I'm Michael. Behind the camera is Ellie. We are the Bill Paying Hobbyists. This week, we're gonna do a little review. I have Allen wrenches. Everybody needs an Allen wrench. I love my Allen wrenches. These came with my mechanic tool set that I bought. Craftsman. They work great. The problem is, a lot of times, I need to get into a long area, like when I'm using my Novichuk, and I only have the smaller handle to turn on, so I wanted some T-handles. So we're gonna do a review on some T-handle Allen wrenches that I found. All right, so I bought these at Harbor Freight. They're Pittsburgh brand. I'm not a mechanic. I'm not getting paid to be a mechanic, so I don't need top of the line T-handle stuff. I got these because they were a very good price and I wanna, I wanna test them out and see how they work. So you've got your SAE, which is your standard. They come from 3 30 seconds up to 3 8 it's pretty big size, there's, so there's 10 there. And then this one is the metric, and it goes from two to 10 millimeter. And my Craftsman, they went from, let's see, we got 9 64ths all the way up to 5 16 So we got a little bit smaller, but we have a lot more. There's a lot more uh, different sizes that go through these, and they don't go as high as this one does. So. This will be practical for most things, and if something happens that I don't have the right size, I can come back to this. And then the metric go from four, I'm sorry, 1.5. Nope, these, I'm, I'm wrong. These go from 3 64ths to 5 sixteenths. It's pretty small. And these go from 1.5 millimeter to seven millimeter. So not as far down, a little bit bigger. Decent size, I mean, it's a decent box. It's Pittsburgh and they come with a little stand. So let's get these open and see what we got. We got a razor knife around here somewhere. There we go. Yeah. All right, so they're wrapped in some plastic. And we got a little handle. Stands by itself. Not a bad little stand. It's just a piece of sheet metal. They fold it in a Z or an S, S, five. And it has a little mounting bracket so you could hang them like this if you wanted to. Although you probably want to hang it like that but your numbers are upside down. So you could see your numbers. It doesn't really matter. Yep, that's how it would hang. And your numbers are upside down so they didn't really think about that. You can't see that. These hang upside, it has little hooks on the bottom little keyholes so you can hang it up on the wall or on your bench if you wanted to but doing so puts the numbers upside down so they didn't really think of that but they did do it so that you could hold them like this Pittsburgh T handles uh, they are just a plastic handle they're not I don't know that you could put a lot of torque on these I don't know how often I'm ever going to use a 3 8 inch and it has the size stamped on the side on the handle itself, so that's kind of good. Not bad. It's not. Uh, I don't know how long they're going to last. We'll use them, and then maybe we'll do a another review later on, update. an update to see how well they hold up. But they're in there. That's pretty good. And let's see if they did the same with the metrics. I don't know would assume they did. Wrapped in plastic, so the metrics are gray, standard is red. Good way to know the difference between the two. Pretty much the same thing. You got the same bracket that the millimeters they put here. They're on the handle. So, oh, that's got a little taper end to it to help get it into the Allen key when you're using them. That's good. So they have the keyhole, yep, has the keyhole slots in them. 
again, upside down. So when you, if you did it this way, your numbers would be upside down. Not a big deal, just, you know, one of those things. And the smaller ones are not tapered, like the big one is. That's all right. And the main reason I got them is for things like when I'm using, like I said earlier, using on my Novichok, if I'm using my pen vise portion of it, one to one, I have this long section I need to get down to, and it's such a small Allen key that that little handle is kind of hard to do. And I don't even remember if these are standard or metric. So let's see. It is a 530 seconds. So now I can take this, I can get it in there. And I can put it in and tighten it up just like I need to. Makes it a lot easier, a lot easier. There you go. So I held up for that, it seems to work pretty good. I wonder if there's anything else I have. Oh yes, I do. Let me grab one of my chisels. So here is my round carbide chisel. And I believe these are metric. So it's a very small one. Three, it's too big. Two and a half. Too big. Ah. Two millimeter. Small, so it is not metric. Standard. Helps me learn what my all my stuff is. Let's try 764s. Too big. 330 seconds. There we go. Oof. All right, so it works here too. Good. Didn't break. It's always a good sign. Tighten up. They have a lot of flex in them. I don't know if that's good or bad, but it did tighten it up the way I needed it to. And they seem to work pretty good. So if you need a set that, you don't want a professional set, but you need a set that you can use at home that will get into those hard to reach places and help you out in a tight spot, for lack of a better word. These are, these seem to be a pretty decent set. Now I just need to find a place to put them where they can either hang on the wall, maybe I'll put them on the side of my cabinet or just uh, set them in my cabinet so they're out of the way. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.